Hello, this book is called Topsy and Tim by Jean and Gareth Adams and read by Gamer Mum and Star. Subscribe in 3, 2, 1, now! Let's get to reading. It was time for Topsy and Tim to visit the dentist. Mummy took them to see Mrs Berry, the dentist at the health centre. They sat in the waiting room and read comics. The dentist door opened and came uh, out came Josie Miller and her mummy. Josie smiled at Topsy and Tim. I got to wear a brace on my teeth, she said. Why? asked Topsy. To make my teeth straight, said Josie. Mrs Berry's ready to see you now, Topsy and Tim, said the nurse. Hello, twins, said Mrs Berry. Your surgery smells funny, said Topsy. It's a nice clean smell, said Mummy. Who wants to go first, said Mrs Berry. Me, said Tim. He climbed into the dentist's chair. Mrs Berry pressed a button and the chair tilted back. Tim felt like a rocket pilot. Mrs Berry put a disposable mask over her nose and mouth. What's that for? asked Tim. So that I don't breathe over you, said, M asked, uh, said Mrs Berry. <laughs> Open wide and let me see your teeth, said Mrs. Berry. Tim opened his mouth and as wide as he could. This small mirror will help me look for holes in Tim's teeth, said Mrs. Berry. Little holes can turn into big holes and big holes can turn into a toothache. There were no little holes in Tim's teeth. Your turn now, Topsy, said Mrs. Berry. She found a little hole in one of Topsy's teeth. I cleaned that hole and put a filling in it, said Mrs. Berry. It will stop pieces of food getting in and turning nasty. First, Mrs. Berry hung a sucking tube in Topsy's mouth. That's to stop you dribbling, she said. The tube made funny sucking noises. Then she used her whizzing drill to clean out the hole in Topsy's tooth. The nurse gave Topsy a glass of pink water to rinse her mouth out. Then Mrs. Berry dried the hole with a little air blower so that the filling would stick tight inside. The nurse mixed a tiny bit of silver filling. Tim watched her. That's Topsy's filling, she said. Mrs. Berry pushed the silver filling into the hole in Topsy's tooth. She pressed it down and made it perfectly smooth. There, good as new, said Mrs. Berry. Did it hurt? asked Tim. The drill was noisy, said Topsy, but it didn't hurt. You're both good. You both got good teeth, said Mrs. Berry. Keep them that way. Eat lots of different foods, but remember, sweet foods can hurt your teeth, so don't eat them too often. Never forget to clean your teeth in the morning and at bedtime with a fluoride toothpaste, and don't eat or drink in bed. Not even water, said Tim. Only water, said Mrs. Berry. Sweet drinks can hurt your teeth as much as sweet food. Mrs. Berry gave Topsy and Tim a badge each to remind them to look after their teeth. Come back and see me soon, she said. Before they went home, the receptionist wrote down the date of their next visit. A little boy came in to the waiting room with his mummy. He was trying not to cry. It's Tom Welsh, said Topsy. What's the matter, Tony? said Tim. I've got a toothache, sniffed Tony. He eats too many sweets, said Tony's mum. Never mind, said Topsy. Mrs. Bear will make it better. On the way home, they passed the sweet shop. I would like some sweets, said Topsy, but I don't want to fit like Tony. There are other nice things that are better for you, said Mummy. She bought them lovely crunchy apples from the greengrocer. Then they went to the chemist to buy new toothbrushes. The chemist told them about disclosing tablets. Just chew half a tablet, then rinse your mouth with water, he explained. The part of your teeth that most need cleaning will turn pink. We'd look funny going to school with pink teeth, said Tim. The chemist laughed. You clean away the pink bits with your new toothbrushes, he said. When there's no pink left, you know your teeth are clean. As soon as they go home, Topsy and Tim tried their new toothbrushes. Mrs. Berry won't find any holes in our teeth next visit, said Topsy and Tim. Now turn the page and help Topsy and Tim solve a puzzle. Do you know which things are good for your teeth and which things are bad? Follow the lines to find out Topsy and Tim and their friends have chosen. And I'll leave you 
listeners, chance to do that yourself. See you next time. Bye.